It's the year 2018. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are on a submarine expedition in the Gulf of Mexico. Everything was going quite normally for them, as they had already observed hundreds of species on that expedition, all being species well known to science, until they found something quite unique. A dark red squid would be spotted, swimming its way near the submarine. The squid looked quite odd. Its body twisted and contorted into what seems to be a defensive posture. The scientists aboard the ship were stumped as to what this enigmatic cephalopod could be. The resident cephalopod expert of the NOAA himself stated that it's probably the most bizarre squid he's ever seen. After this discovery, several theories were coming out about this unique cephalopod. The most accepted theory, and the one that I personally agree with, is that this is the cyclotoothid squid Discotuthus discus. There is, however, little evidence to support this claim, as Discotuthus has never been seen alive until quite possibly this moment. For years, Discotuthis has only ever been known from dead specimens, usually washing up on the surface of the ocean, or found as mangled corpses below the depths. If this theory is to be true, then this would be the first ever sighting of this animal, well, alive. However, it very well could just be an entirely new species of squid. And honestly, I don't know which is cooler. Scientists suspect this animal to be Discotuthis due to the shape of the squid. The large fins on the side of its mantle is one of Discotuthis's defining features. It is, however, nigh impossible to confirm this classification, as the squid the NOAA discovered was injured. It was missing its long feeder tentacles and its ventral arms were also mostly gone. This defensive posture it twisted itself into is also not a known trait of Discotuthis due to the lack of living specimens, making it even harder to identify. These injuries, combined with its contorted shape, made for quite a bizarre-looking cephalopod. The mystery regarding this strange squid and what it may or may not be perplexing scientists to this day, regards this discovery as an ocean anomaly. See you later.